Hello dear students today i am sarojini your english teacher of dev public school paradipur is going to take a chapter that is the tale of a tail and it is written by r k narayan and we have also discussed this in the last class let us see the recapitulation of the last class up to which we have learnt it okay listen dear students last class we have discussed all those characters you can see here the characters are here swaminathan then p shankar rajam somu mani and tamil pandit and listen dear students we have also discussed that discussed about this swaminathan he he used to get very angry for a small small reasons also and now and in the last class this also i have told you that after the swaminathan entered into the classroom the giggling was going on in the classroom and after seeing this he just looked on the board what it was written on the board it was written this one t a i l what it was written t a i l after seeing this this swaminathan got very much angry and first he just looked on home he just looked on p what p was doing he was unpacking his bag what he was doing he was unpacking his bag and then after seeing him this swaminathan gave a strong slap on his face okay then after that p said no i did not do it he just looked on whom he just looked on shankar what shankar was doing he was busy with his notebooks and now see here again this swaminathan gave a big slap to whom shankar now after giving the slap they were fighting with each other now and we have just seen the next page also who entered into the classroom this three of them who are they raja somu mani the three of them entered into the classroom where they entered they entered into the classroom and then uh, this the situation was seen by whom and it was seen by the tamil teacher how the tamil teacher was he was very good behavior he has a very good behavior and he is a composed teacher we have also discussed this one in the last class and dear students and we can see how they were fighting with each other and let us see in the next page what is written there okay dear students listen carefully this one the second paragraph just see the book carefully when i read and listen carefully when i explain you okay let us start all the friends came to a lonely spot in the field adjoining the school there was silence for a while and then mani said what is wrong with you you little rogues the three started to speak at once listen dear students you just try to understand that I, uh, in that last class i have also told you that they came uh, out of the classroom okay now where they are coming they are coming to the field the field is just attached with the school playground that means it is attached with the school okay now listen uh, now the silence was spread there and now money is asking what is going on here you little rogues and why you are doing like this what is wrong with you here rogues means it is referring to the indiscipline okay they are not disciplined now see what is going to happen swaminathan's voice was the loudest now you can see when this money asked what wrong with you all who answered now this swaminathan answered in a loudest voice he is telling he p wrote tail big tail on the blackboard big now what he said this swaminathan he said shankar p wrote this big tail on the blackboard now the reply is given by p what the p replied no i did not you this you refers to the shankar okay who whom does you refer to this you refers to the shankar okay now see the last two lines the other two wrote it said swaminathan pointing at shankar now the shankar said no i did not write they two of them wrote that rascal did you see me howled shankar and shankar is just 
angry and he is shouting you don't know what is going on i did not do anything did you see that i am doing this okay dear students let us have a look uh, to the next page yes now money covered their mouths with his hand what is a tail anyway he asked see here money doesn't know anything he just asked first tell me what is that tail you are talking about now see what swaminathan is going to tell see the line they call me rajam's tail sobbed swaminathan what swaminathan is telling he is telling that they call me rajam's tail okay now let us see the next line mani and rajam were sworn enemies listen here here we can know that mani as well as rajam are very much strong enemies they both hate each other now there was a frozen expression over mani's face after hearing the name of rajam now who got angry here mani got angry now listen here see the lines carefully you will understand okay he asked and what and who dares to talk of rajam here as soon as he heard about rajam he is telling who is telling about this rajam i don't want to hear his name okay now see the line if any of you fellows have done it growled mani looking at the trembling shankar and p now by seeing the expression of mani who is very much afraid now shankar and p are very much afraid now see the line next line if they have what can you do as somu with a sarcastic smile sarcastic meaning is written below that is bitter or mocking okay now see here now somu is asking okay let them do why why you are asking about that what is for you if they do like that okay now see what do you mean somu na mani asked what do you mean somu why you are asking me like that see what somu will tell look here mani somu cried look here okay what he said look here for a long time i have been waiting to tell you this you think too much of yourself and your powers mani swung his head and brought it down on somu's neck listen here now somu said i know you are thinking much about yourself you are using more powers and you are making everyone afraid don't use those powers by telling all those now this mani as well as who this mani as well as somu started to fight with each other by catching the neck you can see in the picture also how they are fighting this mani and shankar and all other boys are watching them somu pushed away with a heavy blow Man, mani aimed a kick at somu but he stepped aside and now they were kicking with each other how they are pushing now let us see the next page what is going to happen now really the story is going on interesting as you can also observe in the classroom how your students used to behave now let us skip to the next page yes the three youngsters could hardly believe their eyes now all those incident was watched by their friends also they could not believe because somu as well as mani are true friends and they are fighting with each other now see the line somu and mani the best friends were fighting i have informed you that they both are best friends they had lost their heads they thought that somu and mani were killing each other and everyone thought that they both of them will kill each other now see the line they looked at each other and then ran towards the school they were very much busy in fighting and they just ran towards the school now they burst in upon the headmaster who gathered from them with great difficulty with two murders were being committed at that very moment he laughed at off at first but the excitement and the seriousness of the boys made him scratch his chin he called a peon and set off to the field with him and in this paragraph you can know that this headmaster came to separate those boys who were fighting with each other and the, it is also mentioned that they may kill each other also that uh, that line is written you can see with great difficulty the two murders were being committed okay from this you can identify that they may kill each other now 
see here the seriousness is between everyone because it is not tolerable also they were scratching their chain also here now with great difficulty this peon and his master separated these two boys and now just look at the last paragraph now we are coming to the conclusion of the story the fighters rolling and rolling over one another were everywhere in the field the headmaster and the peon easily picked them apart much to that astonishment of swaminathan who had thought till then that the strength that somu or mani possessed was not possessed by anyone else in the world all the five boys quietly followed the headmaster to his room now see here what is written in the last paragraph that they have fought with each other and this headmaster as well as the peon were successful to separate the boys and here you can find what swaminathan is thinking really this uh, mani as well as somu has have much strength and no one can win from the, them in this world i have never seen like this fight before now all these five boys were called by the headmaster to his room and dear students you can find how interesting the story is and we can also observe this in our day to day classroom also so as per keeping this situation in the mind this author rk narayan has described the story so dear students i hope you can understand better if not please read the story again and again then you will understand properly thank you goodbye